welcome to part two of our messages, Kenya Church and our dear president, together with the dear vice president. As I say that if you are new here, kindly subscribe to this channel that you may be getting all the notifications when I upload a new video. In this message too, I want to tell you how and what happened in Nakuru. As the, vice, as the president was speaking, he said that he's going to be guided by the Lord and put church in front of everything. And that he does by the word of mouth, but not done on a practical ground. So our dear president, kindly come back and ask yourself the oath you took, you took before the men of God. Now, my question is to the dear Kenyans and the vice president and the president and all the government governs of the land and a very beautiful land of Kenya. Who is greater than the other? A minister of God or the president or the king? Somebody is commenting, kindly comment there. Who is greater, a king or a man of God? Thank you for your comments and for your thinking. As for me, I may say that it's God who anoints a king. And when God anoints the king, he uses his men, pastors, and bishop and those who are entrusted for the anointing. When one is anointed with anointing oil, then there is a physical appearance and a physical rubber stamp or stamp that he is anointed to be the king of a certain country. I want to give an incidence, and this is from the Bible, how David was anointed. A man of God was sent to anoint David. But unfortunate, uh, when he reached to the land and the house of Jesse, He just, wa he just wondered who is to be anointed to be the king. But the Lord spoke to him that do not look at his appearance, a height or the stature. As for me, I would say that God sent, as he anointed the king, he sent his servants for the anointing physical. That through the anointing oil, they anoint the king of a certain land. This is what happened to David. God spoke and came to Samuel. And he said, Samuel, I want to send you. Now let me read verse chapter 1 Samuel 16, verse number 1. Then the Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from reigning over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, for I have provided myself a king among his sons. Kenyans, how long will you mourn of Uhuru Maigai Kenyatta? Atukatai, he has done a lot of development. As he says, he has laced the economy double when he, get, he got it from... Uh, former president Mwai Kibaki. But again, he has left a debt <laughs> also double of how it was earlier on. Now, what the benefit? You have a you have an economy, you have a debt. It is so bad. Now, coming back to this, the Lord spoke to Samuel 
go out to the land and to the house of Jesse. I have chosen a king from that place. So it's the Lord who have Kura number one. He anoints the king from the land. And I'm telling you, Kenyans, despite the system, God has the greatest system. Despite which system shall be used to anoint or to elect the king of the country 2022, God has the greatest system. Yes, I assure you, God has a greater system. The Lord said to Samuel, fill your horn with oil. And he started the journey immediately to the house of Jesse. But now let me, let me tell you, when Samuel went to the house of Jesse, Jesse thought that his firstborns and the great and the big uh, sons are the ones that were supposed to be anointed to be the king. But this is not what God says. God does not look at the appearance of someone. He does not check at the stature of someone, but he checks the heart. The Lord says in, his, in the message, I have not seen anybody who have a heart of like a David. Lord anointed David. Despite of the things that David had done, Lord anointed David. David was not among the sons by then. But he was outside looking after the sheep and animals of his father. Lord cannot anoint any other person if he elect you. If God anoint you, you shall be the person. So, Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young men here? Then he said, There remains yet a young one, a youngest, and there he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Said him, Bring him, he, for will not sit down till he comes down. He comes here. Samuel could not sit down until David came. Now listen to verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of the oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from, the, from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Lama. Now, from that anointing, the Spirit of God came to David. And the time the Spirit of God left his soul. Our president, I'm speaking to you. Today, you are not speaking the mouth of God. That is the root of the evil. And that is the root of the words that you are speaking in front of Kenyans, in front of church. Because you have come out of the root and out of the mouth of God. When the Lord anoints a king, he speaks and the spirit of the Lord is upon him. By then the spirit of the Lord was upon you. But as for now, the spirit of the Lord has really left you. Bear me witness, Kenyans. Though I know that I will face also some rejection, but I don't care the rejection. I gather the message to reach you. For I know one day you shall come to, or this message shall come to pass and you shall agree with me. Yes. Our president, dear, honorable, Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta, Khaled, as we are speaking, you are not speaking the mouth of God. You are not speaking the mouth of God. But you are speaking according to your power and governance. 
That why you can wake up one day and say, church, I'm not going to go for the fellowship. And whereas bus are operating. Yes. Because when people are going to bar, they are making money. Yes. And this money is where you want to root. This is where the corruption is filled in. But churches are making zero percentage. Or let us not, see, let me say five percentage because of the taxes that we pay. Yes. The percentage, I don't know. But what matters is the amount of what you get in. You have forgotten the spirit of God. Yes. Watch part three as I, I continue with the spirit of God. Kindly subscribe. Part three. Welcome to part three of this series of the message to Kenyans.